Hey everybody, it's me. I'm going to give you all one more message before I go to bed tonight. Uh, thank you, Lord, for another day of life. Beautiful weather outside. I've been busy. I've been on my computer mostly all day. I have done three readings. I pray I don't oversleep because I want to get to work tomorrow early. So I'm going to set two alarms, my tablet, my phone, and Alexa. Three alarms to get me up in the morning. If, you know, God spares me to sleep and wake up in the morning safe and sound. Uh, I just heard Althea. Stuff is flying in. Last name Broom. B-R-O-O-M-E. Althea. I just heard. Oh, who having a, are there, is there a tornado watch for somebody somewhere? I just heard Michigan. Be careful. I just heard tornado. I didn't hear of anything, but. I just heard, heard tornado, okay? All right, here we go. Last name Clemens. I'm sorry, y'all. It just, when I, I don't know, these energies, they just gather around me. Uh, it's, it's, it's weird. I can't explain it. It's like I'm two different people. But I wanted to give you a message. I was wrapping up last reading a while ago, wrapping up a board of directors, four-page set of minutes. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Somebody's person feels like they chose door number three. Okay, you're door number one. Remember that show? Not the price is right. Um, what's the show where you would wear different costumes and if you would dress up like an elephant, they would give you access to three curtains? Um, it's gonna come to me. Y'all know the show I'm talking about. Curtain number one, curtain number two, curtain number three. Us, I'm going to say us because I'm part of you guys too. We are, we were curtain number one. Everything you ever wanted in your life. I mean, house full of furniture, a brand new car and a million dollar check. We were curtain number one. Your person went on the TV show and because curtain number one was just black and subdued, no fancy writing on the curtain, nothing. They got turned on by curtain number three. They went, oh, the curtain number three had dazzle and, 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 and what's those little things? Rhinestones and glitter. And they said, oh, curtain number three, that's the one for me. I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling curtain number one. Baby, they pulled back the curtain. And guess what was behind number three? A little box of bazooka bubble gum. <laughs> You know how you chew bazooka for about one minute and, and the sweetness goes away and you don't want it no more? That's exactly what's going on with your person and the person they chose over you. And guess what? Monty Hall, that was a show host, pulled back. He said, well, let me show you what you would have got. He pulled back curtain number one and your person almost passed out. I think some of them hit the floor. It was a car horn outside just blew for resignation. It was resignation. Re resonate Conf confirmation it's late y'all get me <laughs> okay um behind door number one was a shiny red car house full of furniture big screen tvs a chip a trip to jamaica and a million dollar check and they gave it up for the bazooka bubble gum that's how your person is feeling tonight somebody on this channel and it could be me Along with the rest of y'all, somebody about to blossom. I see somebody having a big hair salon. You will be doing hair for celebrities. You will have a household name. And your person shitted on you right before you got your blessing. But guess what? Guess what? Sometimes payback come in different ways. Their payback is going to be sitting back and watching you blow all the way up. And they could have been right there with you, but they chose to break your heart, hurt your feelings, be secretive with you, lie to you, cheat on you, and choose door number three. Okay? I heard Brooks. I just wrote, wrote a few cards up to resident. I heard Mitch. Mitch. Mitchell. Mitch. Um, okay, look, y'all. I got to go to bed. No more names, please. Good night. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm not I'm not calling no more names out because I gotta go to bed. Whom if if any of these cards resonate with you, I'm sorry, I'm tongue tied, y'all. I'm tired as hell. Bing Crosby. I don't know. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't gonna call no more names, but somebody loved Bing Crosby, all right? 
if if your if anything in this in this little small deck resonates with you, your person feels like they chose door number three. All right. Okay. Um first card says somebody brushes their teeth with baking soda. Somebody brushes their teeth with baking soda. You don't use toothpaste, you use baking soda, and then you use your scope or Listerine. I heard scope. Scope. All right. Somebody's nickname is Cookie. Cookie. It's a female nickname Cookie. Brown skin, black hair in her 30s. I heard 33. Your nickname is Cookie. Not necessarily that description, but that's who I saw. I just heard a last name Hoffman. Somebody may have a doctor or a supervisor or work with somebody's last name Hoffman. Alrighty. Uh, somebody uses, female uses secret deodorant. Secret deodorant. Okay. Alrighty. Somebody has a half a jar of Skippy Chunky Peanut Butter. I couldn't fit Chunky in here. If you look in your cabinet on the right side, you're going to see. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, on the right side of your cabinet, half a jar of Skippy Chunky Peanut Butter. And you can send it to me, please. I love peanut butter. That's why I can't buy it. I will eat peanut butter out the jar with no bread and no jelly. And I can't stop myself. I love peanuts and peanut butter. Butterfinger, Reese's, anything like that. Peanut butter crackers, it's like a crackhead. No shade to anybody who has a drug addiction. I shouldn't have said crackhead. I just heard wealthy, wealthy. Okay, and bring it on. All right, the name Noah, and I just heard London, London. I've been to London before, and somebody drives a Lincoln, a Lincoln. It's an older Lincoln, but it's smooth, or you may have owned a Lincoln before. Town car, possibly. Heavy air sign is here. A Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, heavy air sign. Somebody in the air sign chose door number three. Curtain number three, and they hit the floor when they pull back the curtain number one. Somebody just ran out of aluminum foil. Put it on your shopping list. Somebody's out of foil. You're going to go make your sandwich tomorrow and realize that you used all your foil up last week. Use some plastic baggies. I see somebody saying, damn, I'm out of foil, okay? Just heard Aries also. Okay, uh, somebody brought a toothbrush recently. You may have brought a two-pack, and it could have been from Walmart. This could be your reading. Somebody plays the drums. Somebody's a good drummer on here, or a person you're, you know, here inquiring about. Okay. All right, y'all. Um. What does this one say? Remember the old car, the Pinto? Don't laugh. From the 70s, somebody had a Pinto back in the day. Maybe a... Was it red? Red or burgundy Pinto or blue Pinto? Rusty looking. It was rusty. You may have brought it for somebody used. Maybe one of your friend's father. Last name Baldwin. And first or middle name Godfrey. Godfrey could be from Africa. Baldwin, Baldwin, last name. I got a couple more. I just heard high school trophy. Somebody played sports in high school and you have at least three trophies from back in the day. Okay. Somebody has a tub of... Cottage cheese on the right side of the refrigerator. And it's a red and white tub. Somebody has cottage cheese on the right side of the refrigerator. And it's a red and white tub. I do not like cottage cheese. My mom used to love it with peaches. I, I, I can't. Alrighty. I just heard Renee. R-E-N-E-E. -E -E. Okay. This one says, um, oh, somebody's rehearsing how to get you back. They're actually rehearsing what they, no, that ain't right. They're not going to like that. 
No, I don't want to get them wrong. Somebody's rehearsing on how to get door number one, curtain number one. I just heard Aaron, A-A-R-O-N. Also, somebody's birthday is March 10th. 310 could be an apartment number. It could be first three digits of your phone number, but I heard 310. The first name, Timothy. I also just heard Archie and Allen. Allen, first middle, last name. I hope this is the last one because I'm tired as hell. I got two more. Woo, what a day. Uh, Francis, they could call him Fran or Franny. Hamilton, and the number 449. I don't know what it's for. 449. You could have paid for something. You could have found something on sale today for 449. And the last card, da -da -da -da, you're dating or somebody you're involved with or were involved with. Name is Damon, Damien. And it could be from Toledo, Ohio, or Toledo, Ohio resonates. I am now tongue-tied because I'm so sleepy, but I wanted to give you all that message tonight. No need to gloat. Just keep on doing you because somebody about to blow up and somebody's person could have been right there with them and they fell for the trick of the devil. The devil tricked them. Go ahead, pick number, pick number three, pick number three. Go ahead, man, pick number three. Number one ain't hitting on nothing. And baby, when he saw that little that small ass box of bazooka bubble gum, he hit the floor. He or she hit the floor. Heavy masculine energy. But baby, when Monty Hall pulled back the curtain number three, they hit the floor. You, I'm sorry, curtain number one. We are curtain number one. That's what I'm going to entitle this reading. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm tongue-tied. I'm twisted. I'm sorry. I love you all. Good night. Thank you for all the kind words. Thank you for the personal readings. I've been pouring them out, two, three, four pages. So I'm going to embrace this $50 upgrade. I need to do a 75, but I'm, I'm going to chill out for right now. But 50 may not be the actual end all next year, okay? I ain't trying to rip nobody off, but those readings ain't no mother effing joke. People be crying. They say, oh, my God, I can't type. I'm crying. It's like you're in my house, Queen Shar. Don't play with me. T-shirt girl, I love you all. Take care. Have a good night.